Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I am forced to accept defeat to Muhammad Imtiaz and Adnan Rashid. And the reason is that whenever we Ahmadi Muslims present arguments from the Holy Quran, they have a response. And to their response, I have absolutely no answer whatsoever. Their response is that this verse has been abrogated, meaning it has been cancelled and no longer applies anymore. Who gave them the right to abrogate the verses of the Qur'an? In fact, them abrogating verses of the Qur'an is itself a claim to being Allah the Almighty. Because Allah never gave them the right, nor did He give anyone the right to abrogate any verse of the Holy Qur'an. When we presented the argument of the Qur'an, Rasulan ila Bani Israel, what did Imtiaz do? Instead of refuting the argument, he abrogated the ayah. This is, this is definitely brother, a valid point that Isa salam was Rasulan ila Bani Israel up till the point of him being raised to heavens. Yes. He is basically going to be a witness for that period when he was Rasulan ila Bani Israel. And that was up till the point when he was taken. And that was up till the point when he was taken. Not only this, then I debated the Sheikh of Muhammad Imtiaz in Speaker's Corner and tried to explain to him that Islam does not allow us to use the sword to convert others to Islam because Allah makes it clear that La ikraha fiddin, there is no compulsion in religion. How did his Sheikh respond? He abrogated the entire Quran. You're talking about one verse being contradicted. Yeah. I just told you the entire Quran. Not the whole Qur wait, 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 brother, wait. Yeah. The, all the copies of the Quran will be lifted. That's now, who said, Yuhlikullahu fihil milal? Lahido, watch out that Allah will destroy all religions. What does it mean, all religions? It means without exclusion. So, la ikraha fi din, abrogated. لو أراد الله لو شاء لو شاء ربك لآمن كل من في الأرض جميعا that's abrogated I'm saying that it is everything will be abrogated your brother is heard him abrogate four ayat of the Quran who gave him the right he think because Rasulullah said that Islam will prevail and no other all the other religions will perish is perishing only with the sword and he said I don't want to mention my real belief of Yada or Jizya because you people will use that that we believe in Yada uh, we believe in love for Hajj none last time i checked you weren't shia so don't do taqiyah here with us share your actual belief on the dawah washim you said imal islam or imma safe if you're shia tell us and we can change the topic brother <laughs> brother don't cut up he is not a shia he cannot do taqiyah share your real belief here this is speaker's corner Yada al Jizya, his belief is in Islam or in Masif and he abrogated four ayat of the Quran. I'll give you more. Lasta lay him be musaitir. Abrogate that as well. How many verses do you want to abrogate today? By the end of this discussion, you'll abrogate all of the Quran. Allah says, Rasul and Allah by his name. You believe when he comes, he says, All of mankind. Abrogate that as well. The falamma to a faith in the ayah, abrogate that as well. Nothing is left of the Quran. That's what the Prophet ﷺ prophesied. La yab min al Quran illa rasmuhu. Nothing will be left of the Quran except its words. Today we see a little of fulfillment of that. How much ayat did he abrogate? Did Allah allow him to? That's my question. Just few days ago, Imtiaz abrogated another ayah of the Quran, which we used to prove that according to the Quran, prophethood has not ended in the way the non ahmadi Muslims claim. And of course, if one verse is clearly saying that, this shows that these people deceived when interpreting the ayah in which the Prophet Muhammad wasallam is called the seal of the prophets. Let us hear the verse and then hear Imtiaz abrogate that as well. Ya Bani Adam, imma yati yadnakum rasulum minkum. Ay Bani Adam, jab bhi tumhare paas aayenge rasul, tumhi me se honge, tumhi me se, tumhari qawm ke loog honge. Ya kusuna alaykum ayati, jo tumhi meri ayat sunayenge. Fa manit taqa wa aslaha, to jo bhi taqwa ki ravish ikhtiyar karega. 
اور اصلاح کر لے گا اور نیکی کی روش اختیار کرے گا فلاح خوف اللہ اللہ سلون ان کے لیے نہ کوئی خوف ہوگا اور نہ وہ کسی حزن سے دو چار ہوں گے اب اس آیت میں اللہ تعالیٰ نے واضح طور پہ فرمایا ہے کہ نبوت قیامت تک جاری ہے اللہ تعالیٰ فرماتا ہے یا بنی آدم کہ اے بنی آدم اما یا تین کم رسول من کم کہ تمہارے پاس جب بھی رسول آئیں اور وہ ضرور آئیں گے کیونکہ اللہ تعالیٰ نے یا تین کم کا لفظ استعمال کیا ہے جس میں نون سکیلا ہے پھر اللہ تعالیٰ نے فرمایا من کم یعنی وہ تمہارے میں سے ہوں گے جس سے ثابت ہوتا ہے کہ حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کبھی بھی اس امت کے لیے نہیں آ سکتے اور کن نبوت قیامت تک جاری ہے یا بنی آدم اما یاتی انکم رسول من کم یقسون علیکم آیاتی اب یہ خطاب ہیں سارے آن حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی زبان سے اور تمام بنی آدم کو اور مولوی کہتے ہیں کہ آن حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کو جو خاتم نبیین بنایا گیا اس کا معنی یہ تھا کہ آئندہ کبھی کسی پہلو سے کسی شکل کا کوئی نبی بھی نہیں آئے گا اور یہ نفی جنس ہے کلیتاً کبھی کوئی نبی نہیں آ سکتا یہ آیت کیا کہتی ہے یا بنی آدمہ اے آدم کے بیٹو اما یا تینکم رسول جب تمہارے پاس رسول آئیں اور ضرور ایسا ہوگا اما مشروط ہے شرط ہے لیکن یا تینکم نون سقیلہ ہے جس کا ترجمہ یہ بنتا ہے کہ اگر تمہارے پاس رسول آئیں اور ضرور ایسا ہوگا کوئی آئے گا ضرور منکم تم میں سے ہوں یہ قصون علیکم آیاتی میری آیات تم پر تلاوت کریں فمن اتقا و اصلحا فلا خوف اللہ ولا یا زنون بس جو کوئی تقوی اختیار کرے گا اور اصلاح کرے گا فلا خوف اللہ ولا یا زنون اس پر نہ کوئی خوف ہوگا نہ وہ کسی نقصان سے غمگین ہوں گے Imtiaz abrogated this as well. In which it is mentioned that, O oh, children of Adam, when the Prophet comes to you, the point is... Firstly, here Imtiaz lied and changed the translation of Ar-Rusul, the messengers, to singular for Nabi, the Prophet. So this was a lie of Imtiaz against the Qur'an. As this is ayah, Ya Bani Adama, O oh, children of Adam, Imma yaqtiyannakum, If there come to you messengers from amongst you, relating to you my verses, and then whoever fears Allah and reforms, there will be no fear concerning them, nor they will grieve. Now the point is this. This ayah is telling you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to send prophets and messengers to children of Adam. And guess what? That is the whole discussion after the ayah of Khatam and Nabiyyin. This, this whole series of prophethood came to an end after the ayah of Khatam and Nabiyyin. This, this whole series of prophethood came to an end. So for this reason, I cannot respond to these people. We present the Quran and everything we present from the Quran, they claim it's abrogated. This is them claiming to be Allah the Almighty because Allah did not give them permission to abrogate the Qur'an. In fact, no one has this right.